Now at 5.30, new details on a miracle rescue. A young boy trapped underwater is saved from drowning. And tonight, we're learning the hero has ties to our area. That man is trained to serve and protect. He was vacationing with his family in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, when he heard a cry for help. Eyewitness News reporter Victoria Whittle has more on what he did to keep the young boy alive. No matter who you are, at any time, your life could change in an instant. One moment, you could be snapping a mantle memento from your family vacation. And in the next, you could be called to save someone's life. That is exactly what happened to Greaterford Correctional Officer Sean Skursky when his family trip to the Avista Resort in Myrtle Beach instantly turned into a call for help. The scream the lady let out, I knew something was wrong. I grabbed my son out of the hot tub. That's where we were at the time. I ran over. I saw the two kids playing in the water. Well, I thought we were playing in the water, and it turned out they weren't. Uh, that's when I found out that one boy was stuck. It was a suction line in the, the lazy river. I just saw what was going on and I, I jumped in the pool. For eight minutes, Sean and another passerby who just so happens to be a correctional officer himself in New York, passed air underwater to the lungs of the young boy. I dove down. I was giving him breaths underwater and the both of us couldn't get him out. My girl ran to the front desk, called 911, let them know. Maintenance shut the pumps off. I don't even remember what was going on around us. Uh, all I remember was talking to Tim while we were trying to rescue the boy. Um, finally, the North Myrtle Beach first responders in Horry County showed up. And unbelievably, when help arrived, the boy submerged in water for what felt like forever, broke through the surface and lived. I'm just glad he's alive and he's hopefully doing well. It's a good outcome, but I kind of hope it, I never have to deal with it again. Um, but if the, if the the time comes and uh, someone needs my help, I'll definitely be there for them. Victoria Woodall, CBS3 Eyewitness News.